Number two, Richard Stewart. Not so smart phone. Not so smart phone. Richard Stewart. Madam Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters, and most welcome guests. My wife Susan and I went to the Sunland Tahunga 4th of July Fireworks Festival this year. Best place in the world to see a fireworks show. They have it at the high school, right on the football field. Everybody brings their pillows, their blankets, their quilts. It's like a giant slumber party. <laughs> a G-rated, of course. <laughs> we got there just in time. There was the Barbershop Quartet singing the National Anthem. How Americana is that? And then silence. The lights go down. Complete flats. And boom! The first explosion of, of colors across the sky. I smiled. I turned to, to Susan. I, I wanted to share this moment. I mean, here we were with friends, family, community all sharing our nation's birthday. And I turned to her and, well, she was busy um, <laughs> with her new smartphone, um, taking pictures, zooming in, panoramas, videos. She was like Steven Spielberg. I felt like an extra on the set. No problem. Plenty of entertainment. Pancreatic music, synchronized to the fireworks, and then, boom, an explosion that shook the ground. I mean, and the fireworks looked like they were falling right on us. I, I smiled, I, I turned to Susan, and she was smiling too at her phone, because now she was texting to her friends <laughs> the photos. I guess she couldn't wait. <laughs> It's, it's all right. At least we were here together um, sharing the experience. <laughs> sort of. <laughs> and then the finale. Everybody loves the finale. And for Google Hills, they, they do it right. I mean, talk about dramatic pause. Everything goes silent. Just long enough for everyone to think, is that the end? Is it over? It can't be the end. Was that the end? And then rifle shots, boom, 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 missiles way up in the sky, way up, and then explosions that seemed to last forever. It was beautiful. Cheers, applause. And I turned to Susan, reluctantly. <laughs> and sure enough, now she's on Facebook. <laughs> Counting her likes. <laughs> and then I, I think, wait a minute. Wait a minute, Richard. You have a smartphone too. <laughs> this is your connection with your wife. You're not using it. <laughs> so I, I decided to send her a text. <laughs> Dear Susan, <laughs> hi, <laughs> it's Richard, <laughs> your husband, <laughs> remember me? I'm the guy lying down next to you <laughs> on the quilt. <laughs> nice show, huh? <laughs> Let's stay in touch. <laughs> Love Richard. <laughs> Send up to the satellite. He's going down to my wife's phone. Reception. We have connection. 
I'm about to have a live communication from my wife. Here it is. Here it is. L O L. <laughs> with this. One, this wasn't an LOL. She was lying down right beside me. She wasn't laughing out loud. And number two, if she's lying to me about this, what else is she lying to me about? Can you see the trust issue I have here? Thank you, Richard. Richard, what are you doing? You're a man. She's an individual. I'm an individual. You don't have to share every moment of your life with your spouse. So then I decided right then and there to celebrate my individuality, my independence. I decided to take my very own selfie right there. <laughs> never done it before with this phone, but I knew I could figure it out. Then I hear a real LOL. My wife laughing at me. Well, what are you doing? I'm taking a selfie. Give me that phone. You don't... Why? I'm taking a selfie. Well, here, let's take one together. I said, well, that wouldn't be a selfie now, would it? Selfie? That's a, an Aussie. <laughs> I don't want an Aussie, I want a selfie. <laughs> she said, Well, you're being selfish. <laughs> I'm not being selfish, I'm just taking a selfie. She said, Fine, well, I'll take my own selfie. I said, Fine. She said, Fine. I said, Fine. <laughs> I think they call that acrimony, uh, disharmony. Uh, uh, we were starting to gather a crowd. I think we were, I think we were the bigger fireworks show for the evening. But, but then she meddled out. I saw her smiling. After she took her selfie, I could tell she liked the picture. She said, I like my photo. I'm going to text you my photo. You text me yours. <laughs> Now, looking back, I, I know this is where I might have crossed the line. Uh, I simply said, no, I want to keep my selfie for myself. <laughs> We're getting counseling now, but... In the meantime, if anybody wants to buy a not-so-smartphone, I have one here. Thank you very much.